Introducing the 2012-2013 First Tech Challenge. Ring it up! The game's played on a 12-foot square field. A team consists of two driver operators, a coach, and a robot. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your alliance partner for one match may be your opponent for another. The playing element is a 4.75-inch diameter plastic ring that weighs a little under an ounce. There are 36 normal rings, 18 red and 18 blue. Each alliance also has two autonomous rings. And just to make things interesting, each alliance has six weighted rings which look identical to normal rings but weigh three times as much. In the middle of the field is the center floor goal and rack with nine pegs per side in a three by three grid. And in two corners are the corner goals. There are four ring dispensers located on the field walls. Before each match, the normal and weighted rings are loaded into the ring dispensers in random order. The autonomous rings are placed on the robots, only one ring per robot. And just before the match begins, two infrared navigation beacons are hung on randomly selected rack pegs. Each match has two periods, a 30 second autonomous period immediately followed by a two minute driver controlled period. During the autonomous period, robots can only be controlled by pre-programmed instructions. If a robot hangs an autonomous ring on a peg, their alliance owns that peg for the entire match. If a robot hangs an autonomous ring on a column with an IR beacon, their alliance is also awarded a 50-point peg score bonus. After the autonomous period, the drivers pick up their controllers for the driver controlled period. Each ring placed on the center floor goal is worth one point. Rings hung on the rack pegs are worth five, 10 or 15 points depending on the height. If your alliance has more rings on a peg than your opponent, you own that peg unless they have hung an autonomous ring on it. Three consecutive owned pegs earns a line score bonus of 30 points. Each weighted ring hung on a corner goal earns a 20% multiplier bonus. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, if a robot can lift an Alliance Partner robot at least one inch off the floor, they are awarded a 30-point lifting bonus. And the Alliance earns five more bonus points for each additional inch the robot is lifted. The match is over, so let's add up the scores. We see the Blue Alliance has three rings on the bottom pegs for 15 points, three on the middle pegs for 30 points, and two on the top for 30 points. That's 75 points total and they have three lines of three pegs, so they earn a line bonus of 90 points. Even though one peg has more red rings, the Blue Alliance owns it because of their autonomous ring. The total score for the Blue Alliance is 165 points. The Red Alliance has three rings on the center floor goal for three points. They have two rings on the bottom row for 10 points, two rings on the middle row for 20 points, and one ring on the top row for an additional 15 points. That's a ring score of 48 points. Hanging an autonomous ring on a column with an infrared locating beacon earned them a bonus of 50 points. They were also able to hang a weighted ring on a corner goal, so they get a 20% bonus on their ring score for an additional 10 points. And because they were able to lift their partner robot up six inches, they earned a 55 point lifting bonus. With a total score of 163 points for the Red Alliance, the Blue Alliance takes the match, winning 165 to 163. Please download and read the game manual for the complete rules, scoring details, and penalties. Good luck, teams!